Hello, my name is Nelson Ferreira and I'm a visual artist and an art tutor living in London and today I'm going to teach you about painting and drawing. To begin painting your sunset you need to mix the colours that um, accurately depict what you have in the photo. So as you can see it's milky and runny, very transparent. It's a mix between transparent white, which is called zinc white, terps and a little bit of a painting medium, any painting medium will do. And what we're going to do is the area that is going to be the sky, we're going to rub some of this white all across. This white won't have any special effect on the final um, color mixes, it, it, it doesn't really have a tinting power, but it will help to spread the colors more evenly. Okay, so we're kind of ready. Then with a smooth brush, we're going to smoothen out some of the excesses. We're going to remove wherever is too much. I'm trying to mimic some of the orange that I see down there, which is going to start just about here. Your painting can be your palette, so you can mix directly on the canvas. You don't need to pre-mix everything all the time. And as much with everything else, Nature tends to be a bit more unpredictable than people, so it's important to, to paint unevenly. Don't try to make it too neat and too straight, because it's just not going to work. Now, as you start adding some more dramatic shades... The brush movements are elongated, because that's the shape of the clouds that we we have in front of us on the image. So first you start by quickly drafting the main shapes. Don't worry with details, it, details will all be added towards the end of the painting. For now it's just enough to draft the main, the main bits. Now, as it's going along, what then you need to do is get back to your flat brush and it's time to start smoothing it out. So at this stage you don't want too much of, um, of a streaky uh, color effect. You want the colors to start blending a little bit more. Again, later on you'll be able to do much sharper, much, much sharper color effects. For now, this is what you should aim for. And now it's time to start adding some of the shadows. Again, don't worry with detail. Initially, you just need to sketch in where the colors are going to be. You're not making any type of um, precise painting in here. It's just a quick draft. Remember that the top clouds tend to be much vaster and larger than the bottom ones because the top clouds are nearer. So due to perspective it's important to paint the lower ones a little bit finer than you, you're going to do with the top ones. Somehow more elongated as well. In order to finish your sunset painting, you would need to bear in mind that clouds have hard edges and soft edges. So some of the, especially the upper sides of the clouds, tend to be maybe a bit more hazy, more blurry as they go in the shadow. The lower ones that are facing the sun, they tend to have much crisper outlines. 
Also remember that clouds that are on the top of the image, they're much nearer, which means they're larger in size. Clouds that are further back, they're much smaller and elongated. And you will definitely need hundreds, if not thousands, of different tones and colors. Don't keep it simple. A sunset is one of nature's most spectacular color displays. And that is how you paint a sunset.